So the comeback attendance of the French Quarter and Jazz Festivals, it was tremendous. Scientists believe big events bring pleasure because our brains were made for social interactions. As Mike Ferris reports, a new study shows just how damaging isolation can be. I think I have one tool that I could take it out with. At Electric Girls Science and STEM Day Camp, the campers are back in person thriving, learning soldering, coding, electricity, robotics, and working with power tools. New Orleans mom member Brianni Prentice runs the camp and noticed a difference in her three daughters during pandemic isolation. They were sad all the time. You kind of seen them kind of spiraling down a little bit because socializing is a big part of their lives, especially in school. Blake, Kate, and Brooke are thriving being back. I like it. Uh, it's yeah, it's really fun. It is fun. Why is it so much fun to be back with your friends? Because we get to hang around people that we like and we know. And now a new study published in Neurology shows that social isolation is linked to structural changes in the brain that can be seen on a scan. That affects learning and carries an increased risk of dementia when older. Our brains slow down, we have a harder time thinking, or we would be a lot more likely as a psychiatrist, I'd argue, to develop clinical depression. And very often that leads to cognitive impairment. Chair of Psychiatry at LSU Health, Dr. Ron Kennedy Bailey, says this could be seen during the pandemic. We couldn't visit senior relatives and children were kept out of school. I think that clearly uh, it was bad, on top of bad, for I think our community and our society. Children uh, lost the ability to social engage. You lose social skills, how to uh, interface when there's some conflict rather than fighting to learn to kind of talk it through. So girls, you like with your friends sharing with them? Yes. yes. And that's what a lot of the girls and even a mother said, is that they're so appreciative of being back with their friends and not being isolated, because they didn't know what they're missing, that they really want to share more. I think that we will unfortunately find probably more in the future than we know now of uh, deficits, limitations, less academic growth. But he believes we can catch up, repair our brains by continuing to socially engage now. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. And the doctors say along with socializing, you can help your child or help your brain rather with challenging mental activities, exercise, including in your diet, fish oil, blueberries, vegetables, turmeric, and ginger.